The Obama administration announced on Monday that it is no longer fast-tracking offshore drilling projects in deep water by accepting them from detailed environmental review. Specifically, that means projects that use a blowout preventer on a floating rig will need significantly more environmental review before drilling is allowed. The exemptions, as ProPublica has noted, are exclusions to the National Environmental Policy Act that they have long been used to speed the permit process for oil companies and to lighten the paperwork for regulators. These exclusions were expansive, covering the entire central and western part of the Gulf of Mexico, including BP's plan to drill its nightmare well in the Gulf. There is no need to ban offshore drilling operations in Canada's coastal regions, says a new report released on Wednesday. The study prepared by a Senate committee follows hearings that saw testimony from industry stakeholders and experts last spring following the BP oil blowout in the Gulf of Mexico. While the Senate committee recognized that offshore exploration and development was a highly risky and costly business, it concluded that it was comfortable with Canada's existing regulatory approach, suggesting some areas for improving aspects of the regime. Moving on, Dutch oil services company SBM Offshore NV on Wednesday reiterated its full-year outlook and said that the market for new projects is improving despite a 14% drop in its first half net profit due to cost overruns and a one-time loss in an interest rate swap. The company said net profit for the six months to June 30th came in 77.6 million US dollars from 90.3 million US dollars in the same period a year earlier. Well, that's all the news making waves as of now. Do come back later for some more.